You know, they told me that this was a tearjerker. They told me that I was gonna, that I was gonna cry. And, and I told myself, I'm like, you know what, Mark? No, you can do this. You, you can, you can keep yourself together. You can hold it in. But uh, I cried, like a lot. What's going on, guys? This is Mark from Inside the Magic California, and today we're gonna be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, the conclusion of the trilogy. Now, before we get into anything else, spoiler, spoiler warning. Yes, it's in the title. Yes, it's in the thumbnail. But I feel like I just have to say it, just in case you accidentally clicked on this. Now you're watching it. Now all of a sudden, I'm rambling off spoilers for you. Full disclosure: there is spoilers in this video. If you don't want to be spoiled. Just go ahead and click out of the video, go see the movie, come back, there you go. I literally just came back from the movie theater. There is a lot that this movie has to offer. I'm still kind of unpacking everything in my head. The movie runs about two and a half hours long. But personally, I think this movie probably could have been 30 minutes shorter. This being James Gunn's last Guardians of the Galaxy film, he's gonna try to compact as much information as humanly possible into his final installment. But like that whole fleshy, organic planet part of the movie, the planet was very vibrant and had lots of really cool colors colors, which I loved. I didn't necessarily think it was necessary, but I feel like if they had just gone straight to counter Earth, the movie would have gone at a little bit of a better pace. Because once they actually got to counter Earth, the movie really started to pick up. Which I have to say, the action sequences in this movie were off the charts. They were so awesome. So awesome. They had that one shot epic scale battle sequence in, in that long corridor thing. I just was like, oh, at the mouth. I was smiling the entire time watching that. My jaw was on the ground. It was fantastic. In terms of action, this movie is an A++. They are doing what the Guardians do best, crushing it with the action in this movie. I mean, we just got to talk about the fact that Rocket was the heart and soul of this film. Did I think that it was possible to be so emotionally invested in a group of CGI animals? No. Gotta give James Gunn props for that. Because I was, I was, I was crying. Like, I was uh, tears were, were falling. It was sad. Gotta give props to, to Bradley Cooper and the other voice actors for this movie. Rocket's entire backstory was incredibly tragic. It made your heart just melt every single time you saw one of those flashback sequences with him and the High Evolutionary. The High Evolutionary, he is a pretty messed up Dude. In terms of Guardian villains, I did like him a lot more than Ronan, but less interesting than Ego. Kind of sat right in the middle there in terms of Guardian villains. Definitely had more of a Thanos vibe to him. Like, oh, I, I am this god that must fix the universe kind of thing. Like, this guy was more cruel than Thanos, but he was only cruel for the sake of being cruel. I think this is the most PG-13 rated Marvel movie I've ever seen. They straight up dropped the F-bomb. He had animal cruelty. The violence was pushed to the absolute max. Part of me thinks that Disney and Marvel just let James Gunn go full James Gunn with this, knowing that this was going to be his last installment with Marvel before he moves on to the DC. Realistically, all that that did was just made me more excited to see what James Gunn is going to be doing with the DC universe. Anyway, getting back on track. The Guardians, they broke up in the end. I actually prefer that none of the Guardians died in the end. It felt nice to see an ending of an era that ended without all of the main characters just dying. They broke up. Like any great band, they had to go their separate ways. And you never know what's gonna happen with the MCU. It's forever changing. It felt really nice to see that each of these characters were able to get their own final conclusions to their stories. You could just, you could just tell James Gunn really loved, cared, and appreciated every single Guardian of the Galaxy. That absolutely showed in every single one of their performances. And of course, post credit scene, it fades out. The legendary Star-Lord will return. Now, as cool as that was to see, do I think that Star Lord's gonna be showing up anytime soon? No, but it's nice to see that Chris Pratt isn't done playing Star Lord quite yet. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, action was phenomenal. It completely pulls on your heartstrings. It makes you see and, and feel the character growth with each and every Guardian. Am I sad that the Guardians of the Galaxy have disbanded? Of course, but I was satisfied with the conclusion that came out of it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, in theaters now. Have have you seen it? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Mark from Inside the Magic California. See you later, guys.